Here we're going to do a quick review of the templates in QuickBooks 2012. We'll go into the lists at the top menu and we'll scroll down to templates, open the templates screen, and we'll see a variety of templates here. We've got some standard ones that Intuit puts in. You can see Intuit Packing Slip, Intuit Product Invoice. We'll look at the product invoice here. We just click on it here. We can see this is what the standard invoice looks like. You can go in and customize that. That is the product invoice. We'll say OK. You can look at each one of them. You can customize them. You can copy them. And you can create your own new template from that. So right here, it basically tells the type of form. OK, there's also credit memo. Custom credit memo, we could double click on that. That's what that would look like, the original template, which you could copy and customize. Here's a return receipt credit memo. These are just different varieties, different types of forms that can be created inside QuickBooks. There's sales receipt. There's four different types of sales receipts, including donation receipts. There's a purchase order. We'll double click on this purchase order. That's what the standard purchase order form looks like. Here's the statement. Okay, standard statement looks like this. You can customize that. Here's estimates. They have four generic estimate forms, a custom estimate, a proposal, quote, or retail estimate. We'll look here at the quote. That's what the basic quote form looks like. You can go in and customize that also. Say OK. It's important to note here the estimate, proposal, quote, and retail estimate are all of the basic estimate form. And there's also sales orders. Those are non-posting transactions which can be converted to invoices. So let's look at the custom sales order. That's a sample of what the form could look like. Again, you can go in and customize it. And here's a basic work order. You can go in and customize that. That is based off the sales order form. We'll say OK here. If you'd like to learn about how to customize your form, you can see the video mini-series, Customizing Your Invoice in QuickBooks at www.qbkathy.com. In the video mini-series where we customize the invoice, we started with an invoice that looked something like this. We duplicated the invoice and we customized it a bit. So we transform the invoice by doing additional customization. We'll close out of this for now. And we're back here to our templates list. So I just want to show you one additional feature here in the templates list. You can click on this templates button here down at the bottom left and go to create form design. You can use your own unique style of the form that you've created and apply it to all the forms within QuickBooks that your company might use. So this will take you online. You need an internet connection to go in here into the Create Form Design. And you'll need to log on to Intuit to create your basic template to apply to all your forms. So I hope this has provided you with some valuable information on how to create your templates in QuickBooks.